Hello everyone and welcome to A Space for the Unbound, given to be my Mojikin. Um, what you guys didn't see, there is actually a trigger warning at the start of this um, for self-harm, suicide, um, non-explosive abuse of different types. So guys, if you are triggered very easily, please do not watch this video. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Turn down the volume or something like it. Because that is extremely loud on my side. It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak and the cat was worried. Meow, Princess. Mew looks sick. Are uh, Mew okay? The cat meowed. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, it's time to say goodbye, to leave the world behind. Oh no. I'll sign for you, my dearest friend, a parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something shone brightly in the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned in awe by a cry too. Oh meow, princess, please don't. I can't let meow go, the cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed by my side. Thank you for being my friend. Snap. I can't. Me neither. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugged the flower to itself. Oh, Princess, the world don't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? It was great. The story was so touching. I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and the characters, I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, cute. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. Then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would be a brutal way to end this story, so I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think it's too violent. It doesn't fit in at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night. I was really worried and upset. I cast my eyes to the sky phone bracelet and the comet flashes su suddenly across the horizon, burning brightly through the pitch dark night. Oh, jeez. I wish I was awake last night. But still, I can't believe it ends like this. What sad fate for the South Star Princess? Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yeah, it'll be like an epilogue, but we can think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will, um, the yellow flower they're about to, uh, huh, weird. Hmm? What's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we go out and get some fresh air? It may help clear your mind. Hmm, okay. I was, I was actually wondering. Okay. So, the controls are the old arrow keys, not WASD, which I'm used to. Why is this place such a mess? How about now? Feeling any better? Um, I don't know. What happened? Did you get right block? I don't know. It feels scary to think about. Dark and scary. It's so scary that I haven't been able to figure out what kind of story I want to tell you. Yep, that's Rise of the Hey, maybe it's time to use the Magic Red Book. The Magic Red Book? The Magic Red Book, have you forgotten about it? The book which contains a spell to dive into people's hearts and rid them of their inner turmoil. Oh yeah, the Magic Red Book, of course. Yeah, it comes in handy now and again. Where is it? Um, I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry, I'm so careless. Hey, no worries, I'll help you look for the Magic Red Book. I might have left it around here to keep your eyes out for something red. Okay, I'm on it. What is this? Why would someone put a page from a video game magazine here? It says, double tap left or right to run. A classic tutorial. I wonder what game it's for. 
Okay, I'm happy that I can run because walking is extremely slow. Alright, um. I love the art style. I'm not sure what you call it though. Oh, hang on. Found it. I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. Try to use first, but I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, cute. Can you help me, bountiful, magical, mystical co writer? Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. A dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. Then you just open the book. Is that it? No dancing or trying to reply. That's it. I haven't tried it already. Alright, we're doing this to get rid of whatever it is we're scared of. And to find the final chapter of the story I want to tell. That's interesting. I'm scared. I'm too scared to think about a final chapter about what I might find. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will feel kind of weirdo. Just think, on I've never finished anything before. This final chapter, will I ever be able to finish it? Yeah, so huge rise block going on there. I picked up a key, I wonder why it opens. Uh maybe the door in front of me. What the hell is on the other side? Bright night, the glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scared to the skies above, but her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Those voices were creepy to listen to, Justin. I have an idea, it could be useful. I'm still afraid, but this... Should I... Should I tell the story? Could I finish it? Yes, this is it. That's someone in the background. Whoa, I just realised how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in our space. Kind of like an out body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use the magic book, red book. I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space dive? Yeah, that sounds cool. And informative. Yeah, you dive into the space of my heart. Space dive. So, did the space dive actually help? Yes. I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh, wow. Cool. For real? Yes, it's the big blue star. The big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. It's called her. When the South Star Princess died, her final wish was to go back there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly. Oh, wow. That sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Co Writer's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Prince story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? If you say so. Well, hooray! Hooray! To the final chapter. Yes, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish this story? Yes, we need a spaceship. Whoa, a spaceship? Yes, in the end, the Star Princess and the cat will explore the space together with the new spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship myself. What? When did you... Can I see it? Where is it? Ha! I've been working on it after school for the last three weeks. I was going to surprise you. Of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river, so you wouldn't find it. You cross the river by yourself? That's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times now. And look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with the magical power to prepare it through space. And that thing is... The Star Princess's magic wand, of course. 
But I left it at home. Oh, well that sucks. Should we go and pick it up? No, no, no. It can't go there right now. My house is not good right now. My father, he's... Hey, don't worry about it. The magic one is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Are you sure? I mean, you've done so much already. If someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No way. I'm selfie like a cat, you know? I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help as much as I can, but... You have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We start this together and we'll finish together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? It's on the second floor. The magic wand should be somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Bosky, will always know where to go. Aww. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at base camp. It's not safe to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right. But the air's so nice and fresh here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You said that already, you know. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Aw, no need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Okay, that's an interesting intro and a half. Um, I wish I could play more, but unfortunately I'm all out of time at the moment. Thank you so, so much, my Jenkin, for throwing this my way. It's, I love the art style. And I can see very, very potentially why the trigger warning was at the start. So thank you for mentioning the trigger warning. There's too many games in the world that don't have trigger warnings where they're needed. Um, for safety's sake, basically. And guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, link to my copy is in the description below. And I will play this again at some point. Because I want to see how the story progresses. Because I've only touched the tip of the iceberg. So yes. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.